We learned how to sum up any sequence of numbers in my previous video. And here's that previous video. 1A number sequence addition. But now we want to generalize sequence addition. Before we said that S was equal to 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 90 plus 99 plus 100. When we're adding up a sequences, sequence of numbers from 1 to 100. Now we want to use a general form for this. Well, how would we use a general form? Well, r this number that we're adding everything up to, we'd refer to that as n. And we'd use the number just before n as n minus 1. Oh, that looks good. Let's see if we could do it that way. I like that. So the, we'll write down general form. So this time I'm going to say s is equal to 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 plus n minus 1. I'll put it in parentheses. It looks nicer. Plus n. All right, that's so far is so goody. No, I then said in the previous video about adding up sequences of numbers, you reverse it. Now I say s is equal to, I'll put the n in the front now. I just reverse these numbers. n, and over here would be this guy, n minus 1, plus n minus 1, plus dot dot dot, plus, in the first two numbers, 2 plus 1, of course in reverse order. Now, we of course go and add up each one of these guys. And what do we get? Well, n plus 1 is n plus 1. And then you have n minus 1 plus 2. A minus 1 and a 2, let's see, minus 1 and 0, then 1. Ah, so it's n plus 1. So that adds up to n plus 1. They're all adding up to the same thing. Plus dot 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 plus, uh-oh, n minus 1 plus 2. Oh, that's n plus 1 again. Remember, if you've, here's your number line, you have a minus 1 here. If you add 2 to it, 1, 2. Yes? So n minus 1 plus 2 becomes n boink boink plus 1. Ain't that cool? Well, I think it is. <laughs> anyway, so the last guy is n plus 1 and comes to n. Oh, that was a bad n plus 1. Again, so there's our generalized, well, let's move all this up and get some fighting room here. Okay, now we've added this all up, and we add up the two s's, and we get two s's equals n plus 1 plus n plus 1 plus dot 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 plus n plus 1 plus n plus 1. How many of these n plus 1's do we have? Let me give you a big hint here. How many of them do you got? You got n of them. That many. So, you've got n times these n plus 1 guys. If this were 100, you'd have 100 of these guys. 100 times n plus 1 gives you the answer. But we got n of these guys, so we say n times n plus 1. And that's equal to what? This guy here, 2s. Divide both guys by 2, and what do you get? Well, the 2 disappears over here, and he goes over here. So s is now equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. And that is our generalized form. That proves this thing true. Well, let's see if this is true before. Last time we added up everything from 1 to, what was it, uh, 5. 
and we got 15. Let's see if this is true. Add up everything from 1 to 5, so it would be 5 times n plus 1, that's 6, over 2. 5 times 6 is 30, over 2 is tan -ta -dum -ta, 15. Let's do another one. We did hundreds last time. Remember, we went to 100, and the answer was 5,050. Yes, yeah, so let's see if this works now. Well, 1 to 100. So n is 100 times n plus 1, that's 101. We had 100, <laughs> I wrote that bad. We had 100, 100 of these 101 guys. And we'll divide that all by 2. So 100 times 101 is 10100. Divided by 2 gives me 5050. 5050. Oh my goodness, oh my gracious. We have done the impossible. The impossible. So this is the sum of a sequence. But it is in la forme générale. It is in the general form, which means we're using letters. By the by, by the by, do you notice something funny about this form? I do. What do you notice that's funny about this? really funny. There, there are no dot 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 guys. None of these. Zero. Zilch. Goose eggs. Nada. None of them. And so they call this kind of a formula a closed formula. What do they call it? A closed formula. No dot dot dots allowed. A closed formula. It's compact. It is compact. No dot dot dots. Ooh la la. Now, we keep calling this the general form. Do they, is that what they really call it, call it? Just the general form? I mean, there must be a, like a specific name for this type of general form for adding up sequences of numbers like this. Yes, you're right, they do have a special name for it. The general form for this kind of thing. And so what do you call this thing anyway? Well, this sum is also known as the nth, because we're using the letter n, the nth triangular triangular number the nth triangular number that's what this thing is called what a name what a name oh now I went and wiped out my G there it is let's put a nice red uh, Circular top. Oh, that wasn't red. Let's put a nice red circular thingy around. Oh, let's put a nice red circular thingy around this. See if I can do it this time. Three strikes and I'm out. Ah, no third strike. That was good. We call this the something is also known as the nth triangular number. What's it called, Gary? The nth triangular number. Well, that's it. I'm out of here. Me gotta go. So long now.